Okay, guys, somebody in the group asked me how they could do a bot that would go and retrieve, like, a random Bible verse and be able to kick it back out to their to their bot. And they were wondering if that could be done. And so it can absolutely be done. And I thought I'd take about 15 minutes and go through it, um, show you how it's done. So the things that you need, you need Google Sheets, you need a Zapier account, and you need ManyChat, of course. And I built this up earlier, and I'm just going to walk everybody through it step by step so it doesn't take so long for me to build every step. But I'm going to go through it step by step and show you how to connect it with Zapier and how to make it work. So here we go. So I'm building this on a ref URL. I'm going to put a link to the URL in the group for a little while. And uh, you can go and try it out a couple times and, and see how it works. Um, I didn't get crazy with the, with the wording or with uh, the copy or anything like that. I made it pretty basic. Just This is just to show you how to do it. So hang on and here we go. Okay, we're in a ref URL. And I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to show you the flow that I built. And we'll start right here. Your step one, I just said first name. Do you want me to tell you a random Bible verse? Yes or no? Okay. <clears throat> On the yes action, I triggered a zap. So I went to here, trigger zap, and in the zap I named it random Bible verse. And you can make that name anything you want, but this is the, the name of the zap. Okay? So, say some person says yes, it comes up here. This triggers a zap, and then it goes right on through <clears throat> to the message. And here's the message. I put in a short delay, and it'll say first name, so Bob. <clears throat> here's a great verse from the Bible. It'll type for a second, and then it's going to kick the Bible verse out from the Google Sheet. Then it's going to type for a couple more seconds, and it's going to ask, can I tell you another verse? And they're going to say yes, or they're going to say no. If they say yes, it'll just go back, and it'll give them another verse. So, <clears throat> how I did that is on the yes, I triggered... On the yes, I triggered, I went and took it back to the zap. So this is just a big loop. You can say yes forever. As soon as they say no, it'll say, Sam, have a blessed day, and it will be done. Or if they just said no right here, but that's just kind of the point of the whole thing. So how did I do all that? And I did it with Zapier. So I'm going to publish this to make sure it's working. And we are going to go through the Zapier steps. Oh, and before I do that, I'm going to show you one other step you need to do in ManyChat to make this all work is you need to go into your settings and you need to create a custom field. And the custom field I made was random Bible verse. Okay. And I'll show you why you need that here in just a minute. But that's that's the custom field that... is going right in this step right here okay right there <clears throat> and that's going to come back from Zapier okay then the next thing you need to do and I'll make this shareable so you can look to see how I did it but it's super simple I just made a Google sheet I built a column one column is the index and it's index one through five and then I just stuck in some Bible verses that I like. Okay, that's all you have to do on the sheet. So this could have a hundred lines. It could have whatever you want to do, as many as you want to do. <clears throat> okay, now we need to go to Zapier and set this up. And this is how the magic happens right here. So you're going to go to Zapier, and you are going to make a zap. 
Your zap is going to start out. The first step is going to be mini chat. And what we are going to do, you have to click on show less common options. We are going to go for a new triggered zap event. So back in there when that zap was triggered, this is what we're going to build off of. And we're going to save and continue. Now we're going to go and select your page name. And I know this is going to work, so but you might want to test it to make sure that it works. <clears throat> and my event group <clears throat> is going to be let's see here. It's going to be the drop down here to the random Bible verse. Okay, and that's the name of the zap. And we're going to continue on. <clears throat> and I could test this, but I'm not going to. I don't need to. I know that I know this works. So the next step <clears throat> is the action step. So this in this step here you have to go to formatter. So you type formatter in, click on formatter, and we are going to format numbers. Click continue. And then we are going to, this would usually be blank, so you would do a, a lookup. And you would go down here to spreadsheet style formula. And then where you find your formulas, and this is so you can do it with any there's a you know anything you want to do on a spreadsheet this is where you can find the formulas so I already know it but I'm just going to show you where it is so you click here and it's going to show you the formulas and you can come down here so you can do these are all the all the formula functions that you could do so I would just scroll through here and I need a random number generator so I'm going to look down here for random Okay, here we go. Random returns a random number between two integers. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this back into this step right here. So the formula is random. And on my sheet, remember I have only five choices. Now, if this was 10, if I had 10 choices, then I would make my random between 1 and 10. But since I only have 5, 1 and 5. And then I'm going to continue the step. Okay. <clears throat> now I've tested it. It's the output is one. I know that that's that's just the happened to pick the first one. If I retested it, here we'll just do it. Retest. Okay. It just happened to pick one again. There's only five steps, so it's, it it might pick one twice in a row, but usually it wouldn't. Now we're going to continue on. Now the next step is now we need to look up that spreadsheet. So we need to go to Google Sheets. So you would put Google Sheets in here. Select it. And now we're going to look up a spreadsheet row. Hit continue. This is the Google Sheet that I have it connected to. I know that it's going to connect, but you might want to test it. Okay, now the spreadsheet is named Random Bible Verse. So my spreadsheet, this is the name of my spreadsheet. That's what goes in here. The worksheet is going to always be Sheet 1. The lookup column is it's going to look up is the index. That's, it wants to look up these numbers here. And the value, the lookup value, is the number that's formatted from here. So you would click numbers and output one and see that would be the same. Now it's doing it twice so I'm going to delete this step. Okay. Now that's going to look up the value in these right here. So if I ran my if I ran my bot right now this index number one this would be the verse that it would show. Okay, and we're not done yet. 
So we've picked our sheet, we tell it to look at the index, and then we tell it what value in the index we want it to do, and then we continue. <clears throat> now we're on to the last step, and this is the Minicat set. <clears throat> so you go from your spreadsheet, your next step will be Minichat. So you would click Minichat. And now we are going to set a custom field. Okay. Make this choice. Hit continue. Go back and connect to your page. Hit continue. Okay. Now on user, on your user, at this point here, we want to use a custom value. We want to go to the advanced field. Okay. And I'm going to drop down. And what this number here is, this is the user ID. So I'm going to click on trigger zap and I'm going to pull the user ID. So that would be whoever was was calling this up this is their user id is going to be there so i put that into that field right there the field <clears throat> is random bible verse and remember that was the custom field that i entered in mini chat okay <clears throat> then the value is going to be the bible verse itself that's going to be the value so it's going to look up this it's going to look up this, this, this is telling it where it's going to go. And this is saying what's going to be put in it. Okay. <clears throat> we hit continue. And we just tested it. <clears throat> and everything is going to look like it's going to be fine. Okay. So here's the verse that it's gonna that it's gonna get, and that is done. Make sure you turn your zap on, and let's go back to mini chat, and let's see if it works. <clears throat> so remember that this output right here, this is what this looks like in mini chat, is I put random Bible verse in here, and how I got to that there was I clicked on my little person here. And I scrolled through my custom fields and put random Bible verse in there and hit publish. And let's do a quick preview and let's see what happens. All right, so we're in my messenger, and as you can see, I've tested this a couple times earlier today, so I know it works. So this is where it's going to start. It's going to say, Trevor, do you want to tell me a random Bible verse? Probably need a space there. And I'm going to say yes. The bot's going to start working. It's telling me I'm going to get my... Bible verse. There's my Bible verse right there. And now it's going to ask me, do I want another one? I'll say sure. There's a new verse. Now it's going to ask me for another, if I want to choose another one, I'm not going to, but for this demonstration, I'm going to say no. And the bot is going to come back and it's going to say, have a blessed day. And that is the end. So if you have any questions about this or you, uh, if I went too fast or you need me to help you with it, just uh, drop me a comment. I will put a link in to the post here that will have a, a ref URL so if you want to go to the bot and you want to test it out and try it yourself that's fine I'll leave it turned on for a while um, 
And if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. You guys have a nice night. Bye.